So there's no doubt about it, life is completely different now. I've been hearing from a lot of people about how this new style of life is affecting their practicing. Either they have motivation issues, they have trouble deciding what to do, they have trouble setting goals. Like Andrea, she says, this is horrible. I have not picked up my instrument today and I'm having a tough time getting motivated. I feel like now's the time to really try to improve and I am lost. And then there's Mickey who says, here's what I'm pissed about. Everyone starts quarantining themselves and then the expectation is to be even more productive at home. Old hobbies, books you never finished, learning crafty things like knitting or whatever. And I'm like, God, the pressure to have all this time to practice and I can't get myself to do it barely at all. Or Inna who says, Yes, while there's no problem practicing in general, I'm struggling with goal setting because there's now too many options. Because there's no gigs or auditions happening, I'm finding it hard to commit to one or two things. I was feeling the same way. I left New York, I came to my in-laws house, and I was hanging out, trying to get some things done, doing a little of this, doing a little of that, but generally not being very productive. And ever since I found that project, I've been really excited about it. Because if there was ever a time to really dive in and sink my teeth into some big project like this, Now's the time. You can see what I've been doing. I set up my new practice room, so this is my instrument, my ragtime xylophone. I have my list of various goals that I'm working on over here. I have my calendar with all my to-dos over here, and uh, as soon as those to-dos start getting done, I'm gonna organize them here as post-it notes. My project that I found that I'm excited about is to teach you guys how to practice, and I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and actually follow my own advice here. So what I want to talk about today is how to get motivated and how to set goals for yourself so that you can start having productive days too. Over the next couple weeks, I want to really explain how this works and how you can set it up at home or how you can set up your practice schedule in different places like on a computer, with paper and pencil, etc. If you can't wait and you want to get started organizing your practice schedule now, you can go ahead and download our Organize Your Practice Starter Kit at robnopper.com slash organize. So by the way, you don't have to be super productive during this time. It's my personality to want to be super productive in all my free time, but some of you guys are really enjoying family time or taking care of somebody who's sick or elderly, and that is really productive and useful too, obviously. This is just for the people who feel like they want to practice, they want to get organized, but they haven't figured out how to actually motivate themselves to do it. So I have a few tips and they fall in one of two categories limiting distractions and setting goals. I'll start with limiting distractions. So for the first few days of social distancing, I was super distracted. I had about three or four websites that I was checking constantly, the New York coronavirus website, CNN, New York Times, and then I'd get to Twitter, and then I'd go to The Onion, and then once I was done with all that, I'd go back to the New York State coronavirus page and check that again, and I would just keep cycling through without stopping. And it's good to be informed. I should know what's going on in the world and how to take care of myself during this time, of course. But this was on another level. I was too online, and I wasn't getting anything done in the practice room or on Audition Hacker or anything like that. So if you're trying to work, but you're constantly drawn to look at your phone or look at the computer, first of all, you're gonna feel regret whenever you go and look at that stuff because you'll feel like you shouldn't be doing it. And second of all, you're not gonna effectively get back into your practice routine or your productivity routine. My advice is to set a particular part of the day where you're allowed to look at that stuff. Maybe for an hour in the evening, you're gonna read all the websites and watch the news and look at all the social media that you missed. That way, during the day, you can think, well, I'm not gonna look at it now because I have another time later on that I am going to look at it. And when you are working, when you are in productivity mode, you do have to take breaks. For me, I like to take between five and seven minute breaks. That's usually the amount of time it takes for me to feel refreshed after a long period of work. Seven minutes is exactly one third of an episode of The Office. If there's some activity that you know you can get sucked into and then you won't be able to come back to practicing, that activity is a no-no. Make sure you have a short list of activities that you could help yourself feel refreshed, but also that you might kind of get bored with after a few minutes so that you feel drawn to come back to practicing or being productive. The core motivation to want to be productive comes from goal setting and thinking through what you actually want to do. It can feel overwhelming when you have so many ideas in your head swimming around. Another way you can limit distractions is to have one individual thing that you're planning to do that day. Like on my calendar, you can see I have all these to-dos. Each day has one project. I've decided exactly what I'm planning to do each of these days. So for instance, on the 29th, I'm gonna learn lines six to seven 
of the Bach Fugue, page three. If I just have a small project to get done, one individual thing that I can focus on, that helps my mind stop bouncing around from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. The problem is, is that it's kind of impossible to be confident in that one single thing that you chose if you haven't carefully thought through the entire range of things that you could do and decided on a priority number one thing that you wanna do. This is the next tip. In order to feel that motivation, you have to go through the process of thinking through all the available options of what you could do. You have to get all of your ideas out of your head and on paper so that you can actually think through what the pros and cons of each one are and choose one single thing that sounds the most exciting. Some considerations might be things that you're going to have to do, like learning certain pieces for a future recital or a future audition, or things that just literally sound fun, like that spark your passion of music making or spark some kind of passion. It's great if you can find a project that meets both of those requirements. If you have an overactive brain and because of that, you've been having trouble deciding on one thing to do, once you think through the available options and choose a topic, after you choose that one topic that's motivating and exciting, and you can use your overactive brain to think about all sorts of ways to make that project better or to improve at that technical issue, when are you ever gonna have time like you have right now? And if you feel like you're motivated to figure out some project and to dive in, that is exactly what you should do. I've been planning a whole bunch of content that'll be released over the next couple weeks that's all about how to help you organize your practice so that you can be more productive. But there's one thing I need from you. I need to know how you struggle with organizing your practice. Do you get off track? Do you have trouble staying focused in the practice room? Do you have trouble sticking to your schedule? And this is a two-part question. In the normal routine of life, in normal times when you're busy, what do you struggle with then? And separately, what are you now struggling with in this new routine of life where we're all social distancing? I'm very curious to hear what you think. Please let me know in the comments below. And again, if you wanna dive in and try to start making your own practice schedule from scratch, you can download our Organize Your Practice Starter Kit at robnopper.com organize. All right, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.